Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to scrape index components from Yahoo Finance. Not all indices have components displayed for Yahoo Finance, but you'll be able to scrape the ones that do show information under the components section. So if we click on components, we have a nice table here. So this is the table we will be trying to scrape. So let's go to our R script. All right, so I'm gonna build a function called get components. And all we're gonna pass in is the index we want. So for the URL, I'll paste zero, and go to Yahoo Finance and get this link. So wherever you see the ticker, we're gonna block that out. And I'll replace those instances with IDX, which is what we're passing through. So this will be our URL. The next thing I'll do is I'm gonna read HTML by passing in the URL. So for this instance, I want the Dow Jones. So I'll go ahead and run that line and run these two lines as well. So now I'm going to extract the table. So if we go to Yahoo Finance, I'm just gonna highlight this table here or part of it. I'll hit inspect. So what I'll be doing is just following the down arrows and using HTML nodes. So I'll pass in HTML nodes body and then div I'll try to look for the section and then under the section I'll look for table and this is where our table will be. So I'll minimize this and then I'll go over it again. So I'll do DT HTML nodes. I'll look for the body class and then div. And then it's located under the second item of that list. I'll run HTML nodes again. It'll be div. I'll get the first item of that list. And then I'll look for section. And then under section, I'll look for the table class. And then I'll run HTML table. That'll give us a table. And then lastly, I'll just return it as a data frame. All right, so if we go to our web inspector, so I hope you see the pattern of me trying to follow these down arrows down to the table by using HTML nodes. So you can scrape most web pages by using the same principle of just following the down arrows. So I'll go ahead and run this block. We'll take a look at const. And we have our table here. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to be formatting these last two columns. I'll be changing this percentage column into a proper percentage by removing the percentage sign and other special characters. For the volume column, I wanna turn it into a numeric column. So I'll end up removing the commas here. So let's go back to our script to do that. So I'll do call names of const. And I only want to replace the fifth column name to PCT change. And then I'll do const PCT change as numeric. And then I'll replace the special characters by looking for the plus sign or the percentage sign. And then I'll replace those with empty spaces by searching in const PCT change. All right, so since this is numeric now, I'm gonna divide by 100 to get it in the proper format. So I'll go ahead and run this line. And then similarly, I'll do the volume column by changing it as numeric. And then I'll do G sub. I'll look for commas, replace those with empty spaces by looking in const volume. So I'll go ahead and run that line. 
and then finally just return const so if we take a look at that data frame we now see that these two last columns are properly formatted so again, Yahoo Finance doesn't provide components for all indices, but the reason I wanted to show you this is because I'll be making a second part to this video on how to calculate index prices by using their components. All right, let's go back to our script. I'll run this function. I'll go ahead and get the components of another index. I'll do the bank index. We take a look at DF. Now we see the top 30 components of this index. All right, guys, so that was it for this video. I'll make a second part, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.